Hey guys, you're watching because you want to lonely. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Castle. Today, I want to do the King's Bedroom. Now, we've done the entire bottom floor now. That's completed. We've done the entire of this floor. That's completed. This floor, like the balcony level, needs to have some work. It's only shelves, plant pots, things like that. So we'll probably do that towards the end of the series, I expect. Because it's only going to be like a half episode length sort of thing. Just to put some plant pots down and some, some shelves, some paintings and stuff like that. Uh, this room is, I think, like a little bit of a foyer. It's the access room to the king, burp, to the king's bedroom. I'm sorry about that. So we can't make this into a, a, a room that is going to be, like, important because the king needs to come through here all the time. So maybe we make this into uh, a bit of a seating room, a little bit of a lounge. Maybe we can put a fireplace in here uh, and make it into a little bit of a sort of chill-out area, uh, a private area, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, the staircase comes up here into the king's bedroom and maybe like a, a king's study or a library or something like that. Or this could be the library. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I think that's what the plan originally was. Library down here. That'll work out well. So, need to put a little bit of a staircase in to be able to get up. So we'll do this. It's a three wide staircase leaving a block on e that's the height. Leaving a block spare on either side to do our uh, log pattern that we have uh, that goes up the staircase i want to do the same thing in here which probably requires this now being closed off because we're not going to be able to have uh, a doorway in here i might have two doorways on this side instead something like that do you know what i mean i think that'll look good okay so staircase that goes up we want to have a few blocks here no not with that one with this one and then our building starts or our walls then start here so we're going to want to have a wall that comes uh, around the staircase and up here like that this is dead space i mean you could use it if you wanted to for something i'm not going to it's got no windows on it it's not going to be accessible or seeable from the outside uh, i might as well actually take these blocks out though to the window and have something like that uh, so we can see the window from this staircase as we sort of go down. That could be a really nice look. Just have the walls going along here. I don't know what I'm going to do about these logs here at the moment. We'll figure that out when we do the probably when we do the room below. I think would be the best uh, plan uh, to wait until that. Uh, these are all going to be solid walls that go all the way up. Uh, these parts we do the same things what we done in the uh, tactics room. And then this wall is the one that I'm sort of a little, not concerned about, but I'm not really sure. Because this roof, I've got planned to go up here and join up to somewhere here. And I think this wall is out the way of it. I think. I would really like it to be, instead of here, here. Because that way we get this wall on the side of the window in. Like this. If we had it here, as you can see, the window would be right up against the wall. And I don't like how that looks. So I'm going to try and do this. And then I'll fit the roof when we finish off the roof. And we, we do the rest of the filling on it. I'll sort of do that to fit around it. I think it's probably the best way to do that. This is going to be awkward because of that. But it should be okay. I think we're pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the walls up in here. Get a nice solid area to start uh, for us to continue on with the furniture in the king's bedroom. Okay, I should be back. Okay, so it's very rough. It's just like the walls themselves uh, where they need to be. We now need to tweak them and perfect them with some upside down stairs and things like that. So in here, I got the walls to be as high as I possibly could. Um, I didn't want the roof to sort of inhibit into the room too much where possible uh, but yeah obviously there's some gaps because that's where the roof itself isn't done but in like spots like this what we need now is upside down stairs just to smooth it off a little bit just to give a little bit more character to it make it not look quite as rough so something like that and like this and like that do you know what i mean it just sort of smooths it off a little bit Makes it, I don't think we need that one there. Makes it look a little bit more uh, casual, more than anything. So there's those ones done. And I think there was, was there any down here? Yeah, there was a couple down here. We want those ones and those ones. I think I'm going to match this side up to match the other side. L keeps it all symmetrical then. And then in here, there's like one spot 
like that. Okay, now we need a ceiling down where we can fit one. Uh, obviously, in this little room here, it's a little bit simpler. I'm going to have it on this level right here. And I'm actually going to use slabs on the top half, which means it's not easy for me to use welder to do this. I'm going to use birch wood. I'm going to use birch wood. It's a little bit lighter. I want the king's bedroom to be uh, a little bit of lighter, more lighter colors. Um, a little bit more of an area room. Obviously, the, the basement, we've used very dark colors. Uh, the mi middle floors, we've used sort of oak and very uh, neutral wood colors. So upstairs here, we should really use lighter colors. It makes sense, doesn't it? Just makes sense. So we'll have these down in here. I think that looks pretty good. We've got a little bit of wood showing. But like we can make that look a little bit neater by running those down there. And I think that's okay, you know, I, I like being able to see a little bit of the wood. Once we get some beams in and stuff like that, that should sort of hide that a little bit more. I don't know if I like this doorway being one by two, or if I should make it like a two by three like that. I think two by three would probably be better. That's what we've done with most of the other ones. And then that means the ceiling in here, the lowest point that it can, or the highest point it can be, sorry, is this one right here. So then we shall put this ceiling in here. Now, uh, I've spoken about this before. When I... Well, before, uh, during actually, uh, doing YouTube, uh, I was also a property developer. Now, I haven't done it for quite some time now. I've sort of been trying to concentrate on YouTube uh, as much as possible. But what I used to do is I used to buy houses, do them up, make them look nice, and then sell them again uh, to make a profit. And that's how I used to my, uh, earn my living, uh, pay my way in the world. And there was a real nice sort of uh, thing that you could do, and I've spoken about it before. And it was in an important room, like a lounge, for example, in the house. To make it look really nice without much work at all, you would paint it. But to make it stand out so it just didn't look like you've painted the walls, you would paint one wall a different color to all the others. So let's say you had like four walls in a room, like, like I say, a normal square room. You would do three walls in a normal um, neutral magnolia paint magnolia is a very common paint for walls uh, it's like a creamy color like a light cream just off white uh, everybody has magnolia walls <laughs> but then you'd make one of them an important color like a bright red or a bright pink or an, a nice blue and what that would do is that would draw the attention to that wall and make it what was called, what is called in the business, a feature wall. And on that feature wall, you would mount your TV, uh, you would mount nice shelves or nice wall lights and stuff like that. Now, I want to do the same thing in this king's bedroom. I want to have a feature wall in the king's bedroom. And I think, seeing as though it's a king, it's royal, we probably want to do red. And I think either it's this wall or this wall that we make red or we do both of them we make two feature walls I don't know about that maybe just the one I'm gonna do it on this wall here but I do think that in some points we poke through to the outside so would it be possible not really I was thinking if it was possible for me to move the wall out but no I'm gonna to have to do the red on the inside so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get nice red I think that's a nice red for it I'm gonna place one here and one here. Hello? Oh, yeah, I see. Up there. And we're going to 159.14. Set to 159.14. We make a nice red feature. Now, with no lights in here, it doesn't really make a difference. But you can see it just makes that wall important. When you come up the stairs, that's the first wall that you're going to see. That's going to draw your eye towards it. We want the bed mounted on that wall. We want some nice wall candles on that wall really dress that up as nicely as we possibly can it'd also be nice to fit some curtains in but i don't think we really have the room on here unless i don't know maybe we can do something across the top and like drape it down or something on one side it's not gonna be easy like uh pink would probably be best i know pink's like not the most king color but we've used pink already um downstairs so it's not going to be that out of place i was thinking maybe if we do something like that gold block as a little tie so it's a little side curtain that you sort of just tie back on one side i think that could be really nice 
and we'll have this one in here as well. Yeah, I think that one as well. Yeah, see, and they just sort of drop down like that. Okay, we're very dark in here. Let's start getting some torches, some, some candles on. Candle. So we want to have either side of the bed. Our bed's going to be at least three, maybe even five blocks wide. And it's going to go about there, which means we want the candles evenly spaced on either side. I'm going to go two blocks wider there and there. And I'd really like to make these into a little bit more of a feature. So maybe we go with a fence and we place the candles instead of on the wall, we place them on top of the fence. So they just stand out that little bit more slab. We'll go with da um, uh, spruce to go underneath it. And it makes it look like a little bit more of a, like a taller candle, like it can burn for a little bit longer. That could be nice. For the bed itself, we're going to go with obviously red wool though this time and not clay. Red wool, white wool, some carpet. And I like to do three blocks wide and I put carpet on top. And that way you get a little bit of lip for the pillow. The pillow's always a little bit sort of taller. I'm going to make it nice and long. Maybe that's too long. Maybe we do it like that. That could work. But I think actually we probably want to do it a block back. We do it a block away from the wall. And that way we can hopefully make some sort of four poster bed. That would be really nice. So we'll get some oak wood to go in here. We'll get some normal oak. Oh no. No, no. Jungle. To go in here. Uh, stairs for a little headboard. Like that. We want to have a similar thing. I'm going to do them upside down stairs on the end. Leave the sides open so we can get into bed nice and easy. You could put chests on the front there as well. If you had a three wide chest that would be amazing. Let's get ourselves the corner posts. Four poster bed. When I was younger... I always wanted a four poster bed, but they were always very girly. The four poster beds always had, were always pink or had like girly fancy like wood patterns all over it. There was never a boy's four poster bed and I thought they were so cool. And I never got one. I still, to this day, have never had a, a four-poster bed. I've never, I don't think I've ever laid in a four-poster bed before. But I've always liked them. I always think they're like a little fort. Uh, they, you know, all, they, they always had like little drapes that went over the sides and stuff like that. It was all really girly and I never really liked it. Um, but for a king, it definitely has to be, for sure. So we'll get some slabs now. Uh, maybe even like sandstone ones just to go over the top of these logs to hide those up and I think that's pretty cool right four poster bed in there it's a nice size it's to scale you know it, it's not grossly big for a uh, for a king look it's the right size it's like a king size bed or even a queen size bed I think it's even big enough to be a king size to be honest but uh, it definitely suits it it's definitely exactly what we need we're still very dark in here, so I think we're going to have to put some uh, lights on the ceiling. We can't do anything with the floor because obviously we're sharing this floor with the ceiling below. Uh, so we're going to have to put some sort of beams up and hang some lights off there. They actually work quite well, I think, with the candles when you hang. Can we hang candles upside down? Well, we have we have the lamps for that, but I've never really... Oh, I've never seen that before. That's lovely. Okay, we'll definitely have some of those. But because they're slabs on the top half, we're going to have to have some beams in order to... Uh, stick them on. So we're going to go with spruce wood. We're going to go different to the oak wood that we've used for the four poster bed. And I think we really want to start off with the middle maybe. Uh, the center line will probably be the smartest one. And then we sort of go out from there. So everything is centered around the bed. That's the main feature obviously. The bedroom. So I think we'll go maybe two blocks between. So it'll be one there and one there. That keeps nicely away from the um, curtains and the windows. I might as well put one there as well. And I deleted the block there. I don't think it matters too much. I've got to put it back anyway. That wasn't the one. It was that one. It's not, it doesn't make a difference anyway. That was only from the outside. And there. And then we have one here and one here. I think that works out really nice. Oh, this one goes all the way down. This isn't quite in line, unfortunately, with the window. That would have been perfect. There's only so much luck that my, oh, there's only so much my luck can do before it runs out uh, with spacing. So we'll have this coming down here. 
and it's not gonna it's not gonna really uh, look all that different and it's gonna come down on this one oops as well this gives us a nice some nice spots to hang those chandelier candles off I never thought about putting the candles on the top so yeah candles and we have one in the middle in the middle there there very medieval perfect look isn't it perfect look and then we'll just have one there okay that's definitely lit this room up enough uh, we don't need any more lighting in here uh, i think it's a real it's raining it's a real nice balance toggle downfall so uh plants i don't want the plants right in the corners i want the plants sort of next to the or, or like one block away from the candles on either side also with like a nice block so maybe a note block could work really well it looks a little bit more uh fancy as a plant base and then for the plant themselves maybe jungle it's a nice bright green it's a nice full green and we'll have them three blocks high okay i really like that uh, i want some shelves behind the bed uh what do we want for the furniture do we go with spruce i think we either go with spruce or dark oak We'll try spruce first. I don't want jungle wood, but I want a little shelf in there just because that looks really smart. And then we'll have a shelf on either side of the plant pots. I also want some paintings on the feature wall. And I probably want these above the candles, just one wide ones, like one by one. Like that. And like that. Oh, that's nice. Two sort of yellowy ones on there already that's made the whole bedroom look really nice it's only one wall and it looks really really superb so let's get some tables now and just sort of furnish up the rest we're going to be using spruce wood to furnish up this area so we're going to need chair as well wait i never used these chairs before i don't think so that's really nice to have in there so a little bit of a dining chair but it works um i don't want anything in front of the windows because obviously that's where the curtains are going to shut we can certainly have some bookshelves bock bookshelves down here i want a little bit of a pyramid pattern maybe something like that or do we just go with a nice sort of three high square i think we go with a three high square there i want another planter in right here it's like the perfect spot for one i want slabs to go over the door like that we probably want to do the same on the other side before i forget uh slab as well of wood to go on top of the bookcase oak i always just like i always like that i think it looks much more like a sturdier bookcase and uh now this wall i want some large paintings and some large tables and and, and really utilize this space so we're going to grab our spruce back again we're going to have a little bit of a bigger table like this we can put a couple of chairs on around here yeah two like that we're gonna get some shelves same shelves again and i want the shelves to be maybe in the middle maybe we do it in line like that and i want a two by two painting on that side and a two by two painting on the other side perfect perfect hey wow uh some plant a little planter here would be lovely boop uh, not there boop 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 and I can't fit one in the corner. I don't want one in the corner. I can put a shelf underneath these. Anything to go in these sort of spaces. Chests. Chests are perfect to go in these sort of spaces. So we'll have a couple of little storage chests. Uh, trapped. We'll get trapped ones as well. So we can sort of have uh, like four small ones there. Fills up that space really nicely. And I think that's really all we need. Maybe we can have a little dresser one there. And here and then a carpet carpet we want to have I've got itchy nose uh, yellow could work because of the gold and the sort of sandstone I don't know it's sort of it's sort of an expensive looking color red obviously works black would work gray would work maybe we go with a gray and a yellow let's give it a go I don't know I don't know so I want to have a nice square one and I wanted to go I want to have the outline of it as a dark gray. 
I might get some light grey in here as well. I'm going to go right up to the planters. I want to keep one block away. And how many blocks away from the bed was it? It was two blocks. So we go up this one. And I think we go in there, right? Nope, I go up one. Now, for the moment, I'm going to fill it all in with yellow. But what I'll probably do is end up mixing some other, some other colour in there as well. I'm thinking either white or light grey. Unfortunately, I can't go under there, so I think I'll probably change those up to full blocks. Because I can't get the carpet underneath this half stair. And I can't put a full wool block, because obviously we're sharing the ceiling with the floor below. So, there. You know, the yellow does work, but I think we need uh, some lighter colours in there as well. So we're going to go with a light grey. And maybe a white as a highlight. I'm thinking, oops, I'm thinking white in the corners to begin with. And I'm thinking light grey to accent that and really uh, accentuate the highlight of the white. And I'm thinking even going in something like this. And then changing up that middle block. Ex I wanted to look an expensive, oops, an expensive looking carpet. So in the middle here, maybe we go with red. I think that really worked. The red and the grey goes really well together. Yeah, that looks really expensive, right? Nice big fancy rug underneath there. All right, I'm super happy with the uh, with the bedroom here. That is all I've got time for, though, this episode. I don't want this episode to go on for too long. I'm trying to shorten down the videos a little bit because the Planet Coaster videos are going way, way longer than I ever imagined. And some of my other videos uh, on other series have been going uh, sort of at that half an hour mark and I don't want it to always be like that I, I like between usually 20 and 25 minutes this one's going to be slightly shorter maybe I don't know no way cut away no it's going to be yeah perfect all right this room I don't know study king study or something like that you guys can let me know we're going to have the library down here we need to do the bookshelves and we still need to do outside I might do outside next episode I don't know I can't I get so excited I want to do all of the rooms all at once and get it finished but I'm, I you can't if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.